Well, hi there, and welcome back to our quest to reveal the best pet reptile. As you may recall, our contestants are lizards that aren't snakes, snakes, turtles that aren't tortoises, tortoises, crocodilians, and dinosaurs, which today are just the birds. They are each being ranked based upon our 10 categories, which are the joy of handling, the joy of observing, that enclosure, though, everybody's got to eat. Yeah, but can I get one? I'm going on a trip. Yeah, but it lives too long, or not long enough. Am I going to kill this thing? An accessory or a lifestyle? And danger, danger, danger. After five rounds, birds are in the lead with 17 points. Not far behind are lizards, snakes, and turtles with 16 points each. Tortoises are unsurprisingly trailing behind the pack with nine points, and crocodilians don't appear to even want to be pets with a score of one out of 25. Has this become a four reptile race, or does slow and steady really win? And are crocodilians really underwater, or are they just waiting for their opportunity to strike? Who do you think will win this thing? Let's find out. I'm going on a trip. And number six, birds. Most birds can't even do a weekend without care. This means that you need to have somebody to watch your bird anytime you leave town, and they better know what they're doing. And number five, crocodilians. Crocodilians can go a few days without care, so you can go on a short trip. But if you're gonna be gone long, somebody needs to come over and care for your crocodile. How much do you trust that person? And number four, lizards. Lizards generally need fairly frequent care. In many cases, your lizards can't be left alone for more than a couple of days. That said, when you need to get somebody to take care of them, there isn't much of a chance that your friend will simply disappear. At number three, turtles. Turtles are great. Most can go a long time without care. Really, it will just be your filter that will potentially require some maintenance, unless you're gone for a very long time. At number two, Snakes. Snakes need to have enough water to last the duration of your trip. Many can go months without food. If you're only going to be gone a week or two, just have a friend check the water bowls and enjoy your trip. And at number one, tortoises. This isn't care advice, but people used to keep tortoises in the holds of ships as food storage because they could survive for over a year down there without any care at all. Again, don't do that to them, but they'll be fine while you're on vacation. Also, training someone to chuck produce at cute little bulldozers is not difficult. Have a nice trip. Be sure your tortoise can't escape. Yeah, but it lives too long or not long enough. At number six, crocodilians. Crocodilians live more than a human generation. There's a good chance that your crocodile will be in your will. Son, you always wanted a 20-foot dragon, right? You better have some kids. And remember, they get a score of 0.6 out of 5. And number five, tortoises. Tortoises are a gift for your grandkids. The reality is that many are abandoned or otherwise discarded once their original keeper grows bored of them or dies of old age while their lifelong companion tortoise looks on in dismay. If you want a tortoise, especially a giant tortoise, adopt one that has lived part of its life already and needs a good home. At number four, birds. Some birds live a ridiculously long time. Many live a very short time. Many could live a really long time if you don't make any mistakes, but that means that they will probably live a very short time. At number three, turtles. Turtles tend to live longer than most pet reptiles, but not as long as tortoises or crocodilians. You are in it for the long haul, but you're likely to outlive your turtle. At number two, lizards. There are some lizards that live an extremely long or an extremely short time. But generally, they live between one and two decades, which seems like a good amount of time to have with a pet. And at number one, snakes. Snakes generally fall in that sweet spot for lifespan, somewhere between one and three decades for the overwhelming majority, with more than two decades being relatively uncommon. Am I gonna kill this thing? At number six, birds. Yep, you probably are. These are the easiest reptiles to kill by accident. It can happen very quickly, and there are a lot of ways to do it. At number five, lizards. Many lizards require very specific and sometimes complicated care. 
They also require more frequent and dedicated care than most of the other animals on this list. There is a lot of variation in lizards. Some are very hardy, but not compared to the rest of our contestants. At number four, snakes. Many snakes are very simple to keep alive. They need relatively infrequent care and can go a long time without things like food and sometimes water. Don't do this to them, but most tolerate mistakes fairly well. And number three, crocodilians. Crocodilians are very resilient in general. This is apparent because very few are really kept properly, and yet they often survive for decades. And number two, turtles. Most turtles are like crocodilians in terms of resilience. Some are not, like matamatas, but the majority can live in very poor conditions for decades. There is a reason that they were probably the most commonly kept reptiles in the 50s and 60s when nobody was keeping things very well. And at number one, tortoises. They are very difficult to kill. I've seen some tortoises in terrible shape that were given abysmal care for decades, and they're alive. Don't do this to them, but they can survive some amazing mistakes. An accessory or a lifestyle? And number six, birds. In most cases, your life revolves around your bird. And number five, crocodilians. Crocodilians aren't a casual pursuit. They aren't going to require the frequency of care that will be required by a bird, but they will need a lot of resources. Number four, turtles. Water. Everything else is easy, but water is a pain. They live in it, and they're messy. You have some unflattering chores to do with considerable frequency. And number three, lizards. Lizards just eat fairly often, and poop fairly often. They're more maintenance than the remaining animals on this list. Mostly getting live feeders often and cleaning the enclosure. At number two, tortoises. These are good. They eat often, but this just means a lot of trips to the grocery store. They do need a lot of space, so that's really their biggest downfall. And at number one, snakes. Snakes are the pothos of reptiles. They eat about once a week and poop on a similar schedule. Their food is generally frozen before you thaw it out and easy to buy in bulk, so you aren't gonna go shopping all that often. They're a lot of fun and very little work. And finally, dinja, dinja, dinja. Number six, crocodilians. Many can eat you, and uh, most are at least willing to give it a try. There isn't a species of crocodilian that can't remove your hand. At number five, snakes. Many pet snakes are not dangerous in any way to humans. The biggest threat is that you might inhale one by accident and choke to death. But some are dangerously venomous. And a small handful get large enough to kill a person, though that is extremely uncommon. And they never measure you to see if they could. That's ridiculous. Number four, lizards. Most lizard species are completely harmless. None have a venom that is any sort of a real threat to humans. Some could send you for stitches, and there are a few that, with a little luck, could kill you with a well-placed bite. But you'd be on the short list of people ever killed by a lizard. At number three, birds. Even cassowaries and eagles have very rarely killed anybody. Some might make you bleed. In general, they aren't any real danger. At number two, turtles. Turtles can't reach all of the parts of their own bodies. If you're being bitten by turtles, you're doing it wrong. Don't put your hand in the mouth of an alligator snapping turtle, and don't try to kiss a common snapping turtle, or any other turtle for that matter. And at number one, tortoises. A tortoise can bite you. They're very open to experimenting with what can and cannot be eaten. But my gosh, if you're eaten by tortoises, you aren't safe anywhere. And that brings us to the moment of truth. I don't even know the results. Jason. Will you please add up these scores? I have texted them to you. Remember that each group could potentially receive 50 points if it was the best in all 10 categories, and zero if it was the worst or last in all 10 categories. The winner has been determined not by me, but by the categories. I promise to accept the results no matter how unexpected and contradictory to my current positions. Mr. Jason, I am ready. Ready? I, 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 I will have you know. My paper is blank. This is the moment of truth. We are about to find out the, the final scores, and through those will be revealed our winner. I do not know. 
Michelle does not know. Jason has not even taken the time to internalize it, but he has some of the scores. <laughs> Mr. Jason, let us have it. Okay. Uh, in order. Uh, oh, in, or in order. In, in order that it was received. Okay, so not not in order of Correct. worst of it. Okay, just Correct. in no particular order, but the order that we've been listing them all along. Yes. Uh, lizards. Lizards. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight out of fifty. Snakes. Thirty-three. Woo! Go snakes! <laughs> Turtles. Thirty-two. Hey! Holy cow! Dang. Tortoises. Twenty-nine. Wow, they their their slow and steady approach almost yeah. <laughs> worked out. Crocodilians. Six. <laughs> Birds. Twenty-two. Wow, we okay. So, by the narrowest of margins, with thirty-three points in first place, the best fat reptiles, snakes. And honestly, if I had to pick one, I was talking to Michelle about this just a moment ago. If I had to pick a reptile to recommend to somebody who is new to reptiles that I thought they would have a great experience with it and really enjoy it, but it wouldn't be too difficult. I would pick some sort of a snake. There's a reason that corn snakes are the highest scoring reptiles we've ever scored. There are lizards that come close, and what I really like about this is turtles are right there. Turtles are right there, and turtles are so underrated. Uh, you know, when, when we release videos on turtles, you know, there's there's a there's a different level of excitement about turtles, and I think some of it is people haven't kept turtles. They, you know, I, I grew up having turtles. I know how much personality they have. There's a re you know, common snapping turtles are my favorite reptile. And it, it's, you know, they are amazing, but until you're really around them, you might not know that. And so I'm, I'm thrilled to see they were that close. Tortoises, after their slow start, they come and they beat out lizards. That's amazing. That is amazing to me. That is amazing to me, but lizards also, right? I mean, you know, that, 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 Top four, which wasn't the original top four, because tortoises came in and birds fell out. But but that top four is incredibly tight. Um, birds, though, you know, I, I think it makes sense once we got into the care categories that they fell out of it. Crocodilians, they were never in it. But we gave we gave them every opportunity to be in it. They just they were never in it. Um, I. I'm excited about this. I, 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 I feel good about this. I think we need to talk about more turtles. But, and I, I, I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm fine with this result. But as we've been recording this video, I have been thinking of a category that we didn't include that I think needs to be included. Which is effectively, are they, what did I call it? Loud, smelly, or obnoxious. Loud, smelly, or obnoxious. That is a category that I think belongs in there, which would raise the maximum score. If we add in this 11th category, it will raise the maximum score to 55. I'm actually super happy with the current result, so I'm not doing this to change this result, but I am doing this because I think that's important. I think it needs to be on here. And so right now, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna figure out loud, smelly, and obnoxious, and we'll retotal their scores with that. See if it changes anything. See if it changes anything, but I think it needs to be there. So so while while I'm figuring this out, what did you think of this? Do you do you agree with this result? Which scores would you have changed? And would it have changed the end result or would it not? Alright, loud, smelly, or obnoxious. Okay. Well, I think at a definitive six are birds. Birds, many birds are just loud all the time. And, and you know, really, like there are a few birds that aren't super bad, but, but you know, birds, birds have a lot of demands and they let you know about them vocally and they're just talking all the time, which is super cute 20 minutes at a time. Not so cute all day long. Okay, number five, I'm torn between tortoises and crocodiles. 
Tortoises are determined and difficult to dissuade from whatever it is that they're doing. And so when they find a corner, they want to go and just bang, bang, bang. Honestly, listening to Big Daddy bang around in his enclosure is part of what made me think, mm, I think we need another category. Okay, so, but, but the reality is if you have a crocodilian, now some of the time it's going to be like bellowing and stuff, which is awesome. I don't I like, you can't complain about that, but they also can be trying to climb and splash about. I do think tortoises though, their persistence is going to put them at five with crocs at four. What about uh, smelly water and stuff? Like the fact that they're in water? Is that the, 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 the water, the water could be a big problem if you don't have a good filtration unit. And, uh, and that is actually why the next one down are going to be turtles. Uh, same problem. It's different scale, but really if your filter's not working, even on a turtle, it's going to fill that room with unpleasant smells. And, and so you've really got to stay on top of your water quality with turtles or crocodilians. Um, both of those matter a lot. At number two, so we're down to just snakes and lizards. Lizards make a lot more messes and they just are digging stuff up and, you know, getting into things arguably more than snakes. Uh, so lizards, lizards are going to be number two with snakes at number one because snakes are not loud at all. They generally only defecate like once a week. Some of them much, much less often than that. Sometimes like every two months they'll defecate. And, uh, you know, in some cases it can be a little bit smelly, but it's pretty easy to stay on top of that. And, you know, and they do just like nothing obnoxious. They're, they're wonderful in that way. And so that will give birds an extra zero points, meaning birds final score will be 22. Tortoise is an extra point, moving them up to 30. Crocodilians an extra two points, uh, moving them up to eight. Turtles an extra three points, moving their final score to 35. Lizards an extra four points, moving their score to 32. And snakes an extra five points, moving them up to 38, which changes the order by only one thing. That would have lizards now beating out the tortoises. And so if being loud, smelly, and obnoxious is a problem for you, I would probably recommend a lizard over a tortoise. And I actually think that's pretty fair. Thank you guys for being here for this amazing competition. I have learned a lot. This is this has revealed a tremendous amount to me. Hopefully it's been helpful for you. As always, like and subscribe. And we'll see you real soon. I'd like to take a moment after all this excitement just to say thank you to all of these people who help make this channel better and, and allow us to do new things like this that we we've never done something like this before and, and and they allow us to experiment and just step outside of our comfort zone and be creative and do new things if you support us on patreon thank you if you don't thank them and if you'd like to support us in the future please check out our patreon page and they never measure you to see if they could that's ridiculous. What? It's a very, very common thing going around that like somebody at their snake would come and lay by them at night and they told their vet about this and like, you've got to get rid of that snake immediately. That snake is measuring you to try to figure out when it can swallow you oh and it goes around and around. That's absurd. Uh, I, I will tell you, this is what it is like doing science. Yeah. Like sometimes you'll be I, like, I, I ran experiments for a year and had really no idea what the results would be. Yeah. I, you know, I was collecting data all along, but it's like this conglomerate of data. And then you get it, you put it all together and you start to see some trends and then you run your statistical analysis and you're like, oh. it, all, it just reveals itself yeah. to you, you know, and, and that's science.